everybody, I'm Arglefump, the Nancy Drew Dude. My real name is Michael, though. My parents did not name me Arglefump. This is game number 25 in the Nancy Drew series. Awesome. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. This is a really cool game. It takes place in Nancy's hometown. That's how they decided to celebrate the big 25 by playing a, a, a game. You know, Nancy's not going anywhere on vacation. She stays at home and we get to meet all of her friends. It's pretty fun. This is, this is one of my favorite games. So we have the clues challenge. I'm team danger. And yeah, Nancy's friends, Ned, Bess, and George. Woohoo. This anagram from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. Like, why are they even bothering to have a, a, a Clues Challenge in this town? We all know Nancy Drew is gonna win. She's the best detective ever. Kind of an exciting beginning. So Nancy's uh, trying to solve the old town hall challenge. Who's there? Is that an ice cube? What's happening? A weird ice cube. Oh no, I've got to get out of here. I've got to hurry. Somebody definitely set that like special snowflake ice cube. So, you know, it would melt in like 20 minutes. And when it does melt, it starts that electrical fire. It won't open. Yeah, so the culprit timed this on purpose to try to kill Nancy in the fire, I think. If not kill her, then the culprit's trying to frame her for arson. And that's actually going to be the story. As soon as Nancy leaves this building, the police are going to say, Hey, Nancy, did you just start that fire and try to kill yourself? And Nancy's like, um, no, are you crazy? I'm trapped. Time to get out of here. Nancy climbs up that very, very unsteady tower. Hurry. Yeah! Oh, this game is so exciting. Okay, uh, let, let's leave. Let's leave to safety and then meet all of our good friends. Good friends. Well. <laughs> Those people, I'm not sure they're my good friends. The one in the middle hates me. Uh, I think the one on the right hates me too. And the one on the left hates everybody. So, maybe not my good friends. Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't. Did you work alone? Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything. Was this politically motivated? Of course not. I would never- Back off. No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? Oh yeah, she was locked in the room. Okay, so did somebody like lock the door behind her or what? Mm, I'm not sure. I was following a lead for the clues challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? It started really quickly. What was the color of the smoke? Gray. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Somebody else was there and the snow shape, the snowflake ice cube. There was a snowflake shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes, I saw everyone in this town who hates me. Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? One of those four people, definitely. It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. There you have it. A former hero and city icon rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did 
Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Hang on, there's someone at the door. Chief McGinnis? There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. Yep. You're free to make a call. The game starts, Nancy almost escapes a fire, and then she gets arrested. And you know, I bet Ranger Akers from Nancy Drew Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake is probably calling at this moment. He's like, hey, I find her after she almost died in a fire too. High five, let's be friends. Oh, we should probably call dad first. Definitely call dad. Yeah, Bess, I'm in jail now. You've reached the personal line of Dad! Carson Drew. Oh! Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. Hi, it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to town hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I guess I better get going now. I'll try you again soon. I should call my friends. I... Oh, man. Poor Nancy. Yeah, she's in jail. You think she'd know a lot about police procedure now? Because she's had... What, over two dozen people arrested at this point in the series? You've reached the River Heights 911 switchboard. All lines are currently busy. Oh, come on. Alrighty. So, <laughs> that is a, a, a long message. Okay, so. Should we call? I'm gonna do a poll here in the live stream chat. There are 56 people watching this right now. Thanks for the support, everybody. Bess, George, and Ned. Yes, yeah, so this is a game where we get to play as all three of Nancy's friends. We can play as Bess, we can play as George, or we can play as Ned. The person we call is going to be the person we play as. Get out of jail is on my task list. I love it. Still have to do that. Check. Well, I did the first two things on my task list. That's good. I don't know why Nancy has her cell phone here when she doesn't have a cell phone. <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't have her cell phone. That would be wild. Alrighty, so... Let's get a few more votes here. Actually, no, I don't need any more votes. Okay, so Ned wins the uh, poll with, uh, like, half of the votes. Ned got 48% of the 35 votes. Ned, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I knew I could count on you. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? The program on our phones, right? Right. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. You know, the police and firefighters have probably already uh, found that note, but nope, they haven't. They are incompetent, and so Nancy's friends have to do it. Your turn to take over. Time to help Nancy. Excellent. So, Ned is going to help Nancy. 
It's gonna drive to the scene of the fire, which was here. the note was not burned in the fire all the way. Yeah, see, the police already have this area cordoned off. So, yeah. Well, maybe Ned purposely wanted to get himself arrested by the police so he could meet Nancy in jail. That would be cute. Stupid, but cute. This must be the note Nancy needs. Oh, here it is. Wow. She dropped it way far away from the, the area. Well, Ned should show it to the policemen that are right here. But no, no, he cannot. So he goes to the police station, which is here. I kind of like this map. I kind of don't. I, I like how we get to see all these various places in the town. And that's, that's a really cool part about the map. But in terms of navigation and finding which place you're trying to get to, it's, it's, it's a little tough. It's a little tough to find where you want to go unless you have all these places memorized what i can't get in oh man so this is how we get things in nancy's inventory i should call nancy just put them inside there let's see let's go to the cemetery Oh, Ned. And, uh, hey, George and Bess live really close to each other. Who knew? Oh, hello now. Hi there. Gosh, it's so good to see you. You keep up the good work now, dear. Thanks, Mrs. Marvin. Hi there. Oh, it's great to see you guys. Now you keep working on that case and oh, drop by any time. I wonder who's Ned, who Ned is visiting at the cemetery, yeah. <laughs> Poor Ned. Alright, I need to stop somewhere. Isn't Scoop like here? Hey, we've got a zoo! That's pretty nice. Solve a mystery at the zoo. Ooh, yeah! I mean, it doesn't look like it's a very big zoo, but I'd still go there. All right, here we are. Oh, the ice cream place is closed. That's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. So let's call Nancy. Were you able to find the note? Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy, but I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. Hooray! So, due to her history of good behavior, Nancy gets to wander around the police station and do whatever she wants within reason and she can't like run away or anything but it's still still pretty cool pretty cool thank you chief mcginnis for being such a nice officer and letting nancy wander around so you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key oh that's some great police work there rookie i'd better listen in where'd you see it last pancake city i don't recall pancake city being part of your beat Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? Well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go find that key. Flip Pancake City over if you have to, but find that key. You did not just ask me if that was a pun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask rhetorical questions and fire rookie detectives. 
right. That's just funny. Um, uh, I, I, I love that. Um, oh, man. So, Pancake City. We gotta find something in Pancake City. Well, let's call Nancy's friends. Let's call Ned again. How? Where's the Pancake City? I want some pancakes. Let's What's go up? to Pancake City. Pancake City. I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need you to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Any idea where we should look? Yes, try checking out Pancake City. Sure thing. The chief said Pancake City like 12 times. I'm pretty sure it's there. Your turn to take over. Time to help Nancy. All right, so yeah. Oh, hey, we've got characters. Hey, everybody, this is Deirdre Shannon. Ned, how's it going? It's, it, I'm leaving. Bye. Goodbye. Later. Don't want to talk to you, Deirdre. Ugh, Deirdre. Ugh. Ew. Okay, Pancake City is over here. Detective Ryan, I think you said he was going to Mabel Rose's? Is that Tino Balduce? I think Mabel Rose is somewhere here? I don't know where she lives. How am I supposed to know who this Mabel Rose person is? Here it is. Detective Ryan? I think he went to the antique shop. Oh, hey, I know where the antique shop is. It's here? Ooh, pizza place. Yummy. No, the antique... Antique shop is right here. I do like how this game has some fun references to the Nancy Drew books. So Detective Ryan's the character who appears in like three of the Nancy Drew Files series. So he appears in like three books. He's not a major character, but it's nice that this game acknowledges the fact that he exists. Let's see, where is that key? I think the key's somewhere here. This could be useful. I'm gonna steal that. It looks useful. Ooh, and then this puzzle. This is kind of a tough puzzle. Okay, let's see if I can do it. One. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This puzzle's very tough. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's see if I can find 15. 15. There's 17 in the upper left. 16, 17, 18, 19. You just press numbers until you get them all. 21, 22, 23. Let's find 24 somewhere. 24. There's 26. 25, 26, 27. There's 28, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41. It looks like I won something. Woo! Yay! We won a prize. And now let's talk to the angry proprietor of this store. Hello. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12-year-old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. Fantastic. Thank you, Alexi. Did you hear about the fire? Of course. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. Oh, okay. Are you THE Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you. You are the original kid detective. You should advertise that. Put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. But it's something to be proud of. Just let it go. It's my past, 
not yours. Oh. Goodbye. Bye. Well, I mean, you're amazing. You're a great, famous detective, dude. You should be proud of that. You really should be. Let's see. These are random pictures, I suppose. I need to find a way to get Alexi to leave. Oh, yeah. We need to get rid of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Fire security keys? Oh, man. I need to find a way to get Alexi to leave. I'll get rid of Alexi in just a moment. Let's There's solve... a key under there. Let's solve the 12-year-old cop's puzzle. Alexi's just so sassy. I like it. Hopefully, this is the key that Nancy was looking for. Yay! He's not actually 12 years old. Uh, I mean, Alexi's just making fun of Detective Ryan for being so immature and hanging out at Pancake City all day long. He probably has, like, syrup stains all over his uniform. Salutations. What's the story with this alarm key? I have never seen that in my life. I found it right here. I don't know how it got there. I had nothing to do with this fire. Nothing. I'm not going through this again with you people. Once is enough. What do you mean? What do you mean? After all I've gone through, you want to hang me out to dry again. Well, it's not going to happen. You got it? Get out of my store. What? Why? I said leave! He is so angry. Leave me alone. Wait, is that the jetpack from... Yeah, that's the jetpack from Haunting of Castle Malloy. Could you imagine buying a jetpack from an antique store? Well, I guess it is an old jetpack, but still. Okay, I want to get the key to Nancy, and I think these keys are going to be evidence for the evidence board. I think Ned's going to have to hang on to that sample container, because now that he's the one who has it, he's the one who has to get a sample. And I don't know what we do in order to get rid of Alexi, but I know Ned will get rid of Alexi. At some point, so we can open up the trunk and see what's inside. Hi. We found a fire alarm key at Alexi's shop. Did he say anything about it? He seemed pretty upset. Really? What did he say? He said that he didn't want to go through something like this again. Interesting. What do you think he meant? I don't know. I'll ask my dad. He seems to know a lot about everyone in town. Hmm. All right. Okay, we're going to call her dad. You should take over. I'll take it from here. We do have a couple of puzzles we, we, we've got. Yeah, it would be cool if Alexi and... Uh, Nancy teamed up to solve a mystery together in one of those games. Would be awesome. That would be so cool. Like, I don't want to see her team up with the Hardy Boys again. She's done that like 12 times already. Now, but Alexi, no. Cranky old guy? Haven't seen her hang out and do mysteries with him. Whoa. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. So I have the Looks key. Looks like I need a key. I should probably tell Detective Ryan that I stole Looks the key complicated. at some point. I should find something to explain how this works. Oh, I need to find a piece of paper to explain this? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. Maybe the, the paper is somewhere here? Well, this explains how to investigate arson. That's a fingerprint scanner. I better not use this phone. That's a phone. I need to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here. Hmm, yeah. Snacks. Oh, Hannah, you always know how to cheer me up. And Nancy gets a bunch of snacks from Hannah. Yum, yum. Yum. Candy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Excellent. Mm. Not seeing any pieces of paper here which explain how to I solve... need to use the public line to make a call. Let's solve that one puzzle. Can I just go for it and see if I can figure it out? Oh here we go. Maybe this is it. Some of the other drawers. All right, All right. my phone. We got it. 
Nancy's phone, Nancy's keys, Nancy's lock picking kit. There we go. This is the computer password, and this explains how to solve that puzzle. Great. I need to find somewhere to play this. We actually don't need to pay attention to that. So the computer password, each row and column must have one number and only one selected. You can't use the same number twice. So now we can try to solve this puzzle. Basically, we're trying to get um, two of those pink ones to show up. So each, each thing's gonna have, um, yeah, there we go. This is I'll back away. Let's see. Um, there we go. That's it. I'd better see what evidence the police have. They seized gasoline. I need to find out what was really used to start the fire. Oh, man. Hmm, it looks like the alarm wasn't working at the time of the fire. I need to find out why. So many puzzles. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so we need to solve all these puzzles. All these puzzles. All these puzzles. Let me show off the evidence board right here. This is the case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. So that piece of evidence we got that indicates Alexi is guilty, we put it under Alexi. That's how it works. That's how we get evidence. All righty. Let's call Nancy's dad. She will give us the dirt on Alexi, right? Nancy, I just got your message. Are you okay? I'm in jail, so things could be better. Still? Still. They're blaming me for the fire at Town Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Are they treating you okay? Well, so far. I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the way from Australia. I can take care of this myself. I just need a little help. Nancy, I've always thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try to take on yourself. I certainly won't turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call in, so even though I'm far away right now, I'll be able to help. Right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. Will do. What exactly is Alexi's story? He was just like you, a very popular detective. He used to be known as the Magnificent Markovic. That's him? Sure is. Or was, I guess. No fee too small, no case too big. Huh, I guess I always thought those were just stories. Who knows how true those stories were. It was a long time ago. It would be awesome if we got to meet Nancy's dad in person. Sadly, we don't. Chief McGinnis let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't go home until I find more conclusive proof that it wasn't me who set the fire. It's a good start. I'm going to keep working to get you out. And I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but be careful. You could land in some serious hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. I'll be careful. I promise. I'd better let you go. Bye. All right, I'll check my task list to tell me what to do next. Still have to do that. Still have to On do the that. Computer, yeah. Check. Did that. Let's use the uh, let's use the computer. Let's unlock the police computer, which was right here. Let's see if we can figure this puzzle out. So. Hmm. So let's see. If this is a number one, then. This could be a two. Uh, that can't be the case because then we can't get three and four in place. So if that's the one, then maybe this is the two. And if that's the case, 
We still can't get three and four because there's no three and four like that. Okay, so this is not the one. Let's try this as the, the number one. So that's the one. Um, we've got a couple of possibilities for the two. Either this or that's going to be the two. So let's say that's the two. Then... Nope, we can't do the three and four there. So let's say this is the two. Nope, that can't be the two. Let's say this is the two. If that's the two, then the three and four are like this. Got it! Got it! Hooray! So this will help us take care of uh, fingerprints, if we, if we have any. Uh, if we find a ticket, we'll be able to do that. And there is no hint hotline. Oh, dear. I like how the per the police need the hint hotline. Yes. I need to find fingerprints. Yes, and the chromatograph. First, you need to get a sample from the fire site. So let's call Ned again. Ned should get us that sample. Hi. I need a sample from Town Hall to test for accelerants. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to find a clean, all-glass container with a lid. It needs to be small enough to fit into the chromatograph. You're on your own for that, but I bet you can find it if you look around. All right, check. Then as for the sample? Try to get a sample as close to the point of origin as possible. Point of origin? You know, where the fire started, right near the thermostat. We'll get it for you, don't worry. Oh, and also... Ned, I'm going to need your help with something. You name it. I need you to help us out with Deirdre. How so? You know how she's always flirting with you? Oh, no, she's not. She's just nice. Right. Nice. But only ever to you. Does that sound strange? No, I'm a very pleasant person. Ned. I know you're right. It's just... it's just a little weird. It's a lot weird, but this is a desperate time situation. What do you need me to do? Pour on that trademark Nickerson charm. See what info you can pry out of her. You're sure this is okay with you? I'm not the jealous type. And also, I'm in jail and would like to get out. Those are solid points. You got it. Okay, so Ned gets to flirt with Deirdre. I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. That was kind of funny, Ned acting like he doesn't know what flirting is. Alrighty, Deirdre. Hi, Deirdre. How's it going? Ned! How's it going? Hi, Deirdre. I'm fine. You certainly is. Are you joining me? Actually, I just need a little more information from you. Nancy's in trouble. Sigh. Ned's defer. That girl doesn't deserve you. But I'll help. Because I'm wonderful, right? You could say that. Great. Because I did. Could you tell me about what happened at the fire? Please, it's really important. Nedgar, I've been over this with everyone a million different times. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am actually bored of talking about that fire that I saw. Please, for me? Okay, for you. I was out jogging, and I saw the fire. I didn't know you were a jogger. Yeah, I'm into all of that health stuff. So then what happened? I saw a bunch of smoke. Brenda Carlton was there, and the antiques guy. Nancy, too. Did you notice anything strange? That's a negative. Why were you at Town Hall at the time of the fire? I just was. You must have been there for a reason. What was it? Fine. Fine. Just stop giving me that desperate look. I can't handle it. I was following Nancy. What? I thought she was cheating, since you guys were so far ahead. So I followed her and found a note someone left for her. I intercepted it. It had a time and a place, so I went. Nothing happened. Do you still have the note? Yes, here. Did it come in that bag? Yeah. It was raining pretty hard that night. Whoever left it must have wanted to make sure it wouldn't get ruined. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Deirdre. Do you really think that Nancy was behind the fire? Don't know. But I do know it's looking pretty rough for her right now. Can you tell me about Alexi? What's everyone's deal with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. I mean, he does work in an antique shop. 
Thanks. Bye. Later. All right, so that's Deirdre Shannon. Excellent. And let's talk to Tony while we're here. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Can you tell me what happened during the fire? It's still an open investigation. I can't give that information out to just anyone. I am a city official, so I have a certain responsibility here. Is there anything at all you can tell me about the fire? Obviously, it's a sad moment in the town's history, but the way this community has responded really shows off what's great about this city and this country. One order of ice cream, please? I was hoping you'd ask. Let's see, I'll go with the chocolate malt shake. Yummy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't leave without talking to Bess. Bess, how's it going? Any big breaks? We need some info from Tony. Can you take the lead since she likes you? You got it. Better not do anything interesting when I'm gone. Want some ice cream? No, eating ice cream is my cover. But she's been here for like 10 decades. I've already had all of the flavors on the menu. Ugh. If this investigation doesn't stop soon, forget the new sundress I got, I won't be able to fit in my house. How's the steak out? Pretty good. I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Yeah, Bess is just spying on Deirdre. <laughs> They'll just sit here and uh, eat ice cream all day long. How odd. Okay, Old Town Hall. I can't do this now. I can't do oh, this I now. Oh, I fingerprint, huh? Got it. Got it. I didn't know we have to fingerprint. Okay, well, we'll do the fingerprinting challenge next. But first, let's climb in through here. Wow, Nancy was lucky to make it out unsinged. We're just gonna break into here. Just break into this The alarm place. has been turned off. I'd better tell Nancy. Oh, that sounds like some evidence. I bet evidence. the point of origin is somewhere in this room. Looks like the fire started here. Better take a sample. Hmm. Fingerprinting kit is inside Nancy's house, unless I'm mistaken. So I'm gonna go there. Nancy's house is... Somewhere here, right? I don't know where Nancy lives. That's Mabel Rose, whoever that is. sound effect. Here is Nancy's house. Here it is. Excellent. So this is Nancy's house. And I... Let me see. Really, really important thing to do is to check, like, something here. I like this picture of Bess and George at Shadow Ranch. That's nice. But no, this, this. Yeah, you need to look at that piece of paper. That, that piece of paper, the game will just come to a screeching halt if you don't look at that piece of paper. Here's a picture of Ned. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, and this is about accelerants, so that's nice. I think we need Nancy's key to open that, maybe? Nancy's to-do list. There's a battery. There's Nancy's scrapbook. Huh, where did Nancy's How to Be a Detective book go? Weird. Whatever. Random knickknacks from previous games. Nancy just has a giant house, doesn't she? All right. So uh, to the police station, and here we go. And then we'll do uh, another. Uh,
I get the sample there, then I'll call Nancy. And then maybe after this, Hi. I'll stop playing as Ned and I'll play as someone else. Deirdre gave me a note. She said it was just like the one that led you to the fire. Great. I have some dusting kits in a locked cabinet in my room. I'll put my keys in the drop box for you. The fire alarm at Town Hall had been switched off. My dad knows the people who run the city alarm systems. I'm going to see if they can give us a little more information. Sounds good. I'm turning the case over to you. I'm on the case. So that's like two things there. La 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 la. Grab that. I'm going to give Ned the keys. I'll do the accelerant testing right now and call those people Nancy was talking about. I need to figure out which accelerant matches these figures. Hmm. Alrighty. So it's definitely number 45. Whatever that is. Do we have a book on accelerants, maybe? Ah, ah. Where is Nancy going to get that information about accelerants? Not sure. Let's do this right now. No new evidence? Really? I could have sworn we had some new evidence. Hmm. I bet it's that book about accelerants. Was it was it here? Or is Nancy going to call somebody for info on accelerants? Hmm. Not sure. We're, we're going to call Dad here. Nancy, I'm so glad you called. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dad, help me with the uh, accelerant sample stuff. I need help interpreting some sample data. All right. What do you need? I have data from a gas chromatograph, but I don't know what the output means. I think I may have just the thing you need at the office. I'll have it dropped off to your friends just to be sure it gets to you. Perfect. I'll have my friends keep an eye out on the fireplace mantle for the delivery. Thanks. It shows up on the mantle sort of towards the end of the game. Yeah, not right now. I just found out something big about the alarm system. I think I need your help. I'm at your disposal. What do you need? I think that the alarm was disabled at the old town hall. I need you to look into it. Now that is a big break. I think I may know just the person to talk to about that. Give me a call back in a few minutes. Great, great, great. And now let's switch over to one of Nancy's friends. That's done. Still have to do that. Might as well find that tape thing because it's going to hide in my task list forever. I'm pretty sure it's optional and you don't have to do it to beat the game. There's no card in here. It is just, uh, this, this is the puzzle. Put the card in here. And you can listen to anybody getting, uh, questions. State your name for the record. Brenda Carlton, Heights 9 reporter. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was working that beat, so I was in the neighborhood. What were you doing there? Working. I already said that. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? I've covered a lot of fires, and they all look different. I wish I could tell you more. The main takeaway here is that, thankfully, no one was inside at the time. What was the color of the smoke? That I know. It was a nice, thick, almost supple gray. It really popped nicely with the light setup I was using. Usually you see thin black strands that are hard to pick up on camera. This was nice. Really looked sharp. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. Nancy Drew exited the building while it was burning. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes. Nancy, of course. The Shannon girl was there. Councilwoman Scolari and Alexi, the owner of the antique store, were there as well. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? Who? In my line of work, we're not allowed to jump to conclusions. But when Nancy Drew strolls out of a burning building looking guilty, I'd say you've got your answer right there. Dun, 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 dun. So you can listen to him call everyone. I mean, 
ask the same questions. Those are the questions he asked Nancy, Nancy earlier. I'm so glad you called. So he, you can listen to that, and he asks the exact same questions to all the various suspects. So what did you find out about the alarm system? You're right, it was switched off. According to my friend at Heights Security, the alarm was disabled on site at 2.17 the afternoon of the fire. I hope that helps. You bet it does. Thanks. I better let you go. Bye. All right, so that's... Is that not evidence news? Well, I think that's important, even if I can't add it to my evidence list. Let's call Bess. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I need you to take over. Bess, reporting for duty. Woohoo! All right, I am Bess now. Hey there. Didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking her a cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dee. Dear Dra, I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. I think you look like a Dee Dee. And I think you look like you got dressed in the dark. If you want to talk to me, and let's face it, most people do, don't call me Dee Dee. Sorry, Dee Dee. What do you think about Tony? She's got a lot of pull in this town. Who knows what she could be trying to get away with? Where were you during the fire? Are you investigating me? That's so cute! You were just priceless! I'm serious. Where were you? I was in America. I know that. I need you to be more specific. I was in the United States of America, present day. True story. You're not helping. If you think that I'd set the fire, then you are beyond helping. You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. Yeah, Dee Dee really hates Bess. Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Catch you later. See ya! Didn't start the fire. And, and like, Bess was here all day long. Deirdre still thinks it's a surprise to see Bess here. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your friend. Never expected something like that from her. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Bess, I believe you. I believe that's what you think. We never know what someone is capable of until it's too late. She's innocent. Really innocent. I know it. Uh, all right, all right. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. All right. I mean, we saw, we tried talking to Tony earlier as Ned. She had nothing to say, but Bess is her favorite customer, so she's got a lot more to say to Bess. Why did you close the shop yesterday? Oh, Bess, it's not good. It's just me. I had to let the staff go. I'm sure it'll pick up. Thanks, Bess. I hope you're right. I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're a good friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When I get there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know. You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome! No, I worked in that building. That was... a billion years ago. Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an office with Tommy Lindenson. He's city council upstate now. Such a cutie. Most of the good-looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. 
Saw Alexi, too. Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Between you and me? That one's a walking cautionary tale. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. Catch you later. Come again. Okay. So, let's go to the police station. We'll get the keys. Oh, wait. Bess doesn't have that note, does she? Yeah, um, Ned's the one with the note. So, we, we have to have Ned be the one to uh, fingerprint that area. Alright. So, let's just swap to Ned. That is sort of the problem. It's kind of a pain to, like, switch Okay, so it sounds like items. Nancy really needs us. We're going to have to work together. Don't forget, we're not alone. Even though Nancy can't get out to help us, she's still working the case. We need to make sure we're getting her the evidence that she needs. If we get stuck, it might be good to check in with Nancy to see how she's doing. Oh no. Until next time. Bye. We have to call Nancy to switch to Ned. Oh dear. I just spoke to my dad. He said that the alarm at town hall was disabled at 2.17 the day of the fire. Can you check everybody's alibi at that time? Oh. Totally. We'll figure out where everyone was when the alarm was disabled. So Deirdre's gonna be about as helpful as George at picking out the latest fall fashions. I say we throw Ned at the problem. You might be right. I'll talk to him. What do you think of Deirdre? I definitely don't trust her, but I don't know what her motive would be for burning down Town Hall. Do you think Deirdre could really be behind the fire? We can't discount her. She's been trying to bring me down for years. Catch you later. See you later. Let's get an alibi here. Hello. Can you tell me where you were at 217 on the day of the fire? Here. Oh, okay. Can I have some ice cream? Of course. Yeah, she does have that conversation right in front of Tony. Hopefully Tony doesn't notice. And cheese ice cream. Disgusting. Bacon ice cream? Mmm. So good. And let's go with some mint. I guess I could have one more bowl. Yum. Oh, that's some great ice cream. All right. I can't do that now. I can't do that now. Got it. Got it. Hmm. So it looks like the task list Got for it. Bess is Got uh, it. the same one as... I can't uh, do that now. Same one as Ned. So Ned and Bess share. Yeah, they share the task list. I know at some point there's gonna be a, a like somebody calls Tony away. She gets distracted. What's up? You take the lead now. I'm on the case. So let's switch to Ned, as I said. Hello. Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. So Ned will get these keys. And then the true home was here. Rush upstairs. Unlock the cabinet here. I already have a fingerprint kit. So we've got uh, three fingerprint kits. That way all the characters can get one. Mmm. 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 Yeah, mm. let's just eat mm. all the chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yum. How did this end up at the crime scene? This looks like a good place to dust the note. Nancy does have a fantastic house. Oh man, so fancy. Let's see, I use the powder. Yes, got it. Fingerprint sample, and that's that. Ned, definitely stealing from Nancy's stash of, uh, yeah. 
of chocolates. Hi. Where were you at 217 on the day of the fire? I was out on the clues challenge. Same as you. Don't believe me? Call Jessica, 555-2741. Or Holly, 555-6388. What were your friend's numbers again? Write it down this time. Jessica is at 555-2741. And Holly is at 555-6388. I don't really feel like writing it down. You're pretty competitive when it comes to Nancy. If you say so. Are you enjoying seeing her in trouble? I'll be honest. I'm enjoying it a little. Why? She's so perfect at everything. It's like, save a little for the rest of us. My parents are always bugging me. Why aren't you more like that Drew girl? She's in whatever stand, just save the blah 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 from the who cares. It gets old. And anyway, don't you think that I'd like to be all jet set, dashing across the globe and getting curses put on me and meeting cute guys? Um, but, but you're meeting a cute guy right now. You're talking to me. That does sound exciting. Seriously. How do I know you didn't forge the note you gave me? Forge the note? Is forgery even a thing people do anymore? Yes, it happens all the time. That's stupid. I would have just typed it up, printed it out, cut out the middleman. Bye. Bye. Alrighty dighty. Let's get alibis from the other people here. The other two are at the antique store. Start with Alexi. Hello. Where were you before you saw the fire? At around 2 p.m. I was giving a talk over at the River Heights Historical Society. What was the talk about? We were talking about the time capsule. Not that that matters now that it's been burned to a crisp. It was due to be opened at the Anvil Days Festival. You should know this. The winner of the Clues Challenge gets to add something of their own when it's resealed. What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? <laughs> yes, all politicians are corrupt. Why do you distrust politicians? Because they don't care about people like you and me. When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. Have you met Deirdre? Don't know her. Know the family enough to know that I've got no interest in meeting her. Why's that? Her parents are dull and unimaginative. They only care about money. What are the chances that they're going to have a non-tedious, non-awful daughter? Bye. Bye. Alrighty. River Heights uh, Historical Society Time Capsule Extravaganza. Delayed due to electrical problems. Alexi's got a false alibi. That's what that newspaper is for. Greetings. The talk you said you were giving at the Historical Society was canceled. What are you talking about? It never happened. Where were you really? <laughs> it was not canceled. I showed up, I gave my talk, there was a reception, then I left. Same as always. It's not what I heard. What you heard was wrong. So why don't you just butt out? Why were you really at the old town hall? I wasn't. I was just passing by. We have evidence that you were there. What were you doing? I was trying to open the time capsule. Why? That's none of your business. I didn't start the fire. I don't have to put up with this harassment. Why did Ned say we have evidence that you were at the fire? Do we? Bye. Bye. Oh, oh okay. I like how he screams at us, but then just says bye nicely. Can't do this now. Oh well. Let's talk to our good friend. Oh, Hello. Ben, uh, it's Brenda. Hello. Will you help us let the town know that Nancy's innocent? I'm not fully convinced that's true. Plus, that's not how things work. But she is innocent. Then why is she in jail? Because she's been framed. <laughs> I've been working the crime beat here for a while, so I can safely say that people claim they've been framed all of the time. So far, not one has been able to prove it. That's why we need your help. I do the news, not charity. 
Plus, this is a good story. A heroine falls from grace. A once grateful town turns its back. The final clue is found. Listen to how good that is. I don't even have to try to make the story interesting. Aren't you worried about seeing justice done? No, I'm a reporter. If people cared about seeing justice done, I'd report on it. But they don't, so I don't. Where were you before the fire started? Live and on the scene, as usual. I'm pretty sure most of the town saw the broadcast, and this story is on the fast track to national coverage. Actually, you didn't answer my question. I'm sorry, I'm working on a lead. I have to work on my notes. Oh, alrighty. Hello. Can you tell me what happened at the fire? Are you asking me for my statement? Yes. I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Um, not really. It's up to the courts. Actually, it's up to the courts. Officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. Goodbye. 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 All right, let's call Deirdre's friends. Hello? Hi, Deirdre Shannon gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Hanging out with my friends. Who was there? Deirdre and Jessica. We were working on the clues challenge. Are you sure about that? Positive. You can ask Jessica if you want. Okay, thanks for your help. Bye. Hi, Deirdre gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Working on the clues challenge. Who was there? It was me and Holly. What about Deirdre? Ha! She was supposed to be there. Ended up coming hours later, as usual. What do you mean by that? Don't tell her I said this, but she's not a very good team member. She's never where she said she's going to be. She's always running around, and she'll never say where she's been. I shouldn't have said that. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, I have to go. I'll let you go. Bye. All right, so I think that's another task done. Got it. I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Got it. Got it. Hmm. I can't do this I now. I want to explore the van and get alibis from all the suspects. In order to explore the van, we need to call in like a fake news report. Let's see. Great to see you again. So I think we just need to talk to her until she gives us her, her card. Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Good. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you gonna do, cry about it? You ready to do this or what? Sure. All right, do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know, don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires or is that a recent development? Actually, you didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop! That's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. 
So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater berg doesn't cut it for me. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seemed that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. Brenda's hair is, in fact, pretty, pretty bad. I don't understand why she has that hairdo. Deirdre said she intercepted a note intended for Nancy. What do you mean? She was following Nancy and snagged the note. So someone was trying to lure Nancy to the fire with a note? Yes, exactly. What's to say she didn't write the note herself? I've seen that sort of thing before. What's to say she did? Basic logic. I couldn't possibly be guilty. Look at this note that anyone could have written. It's desperate. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. But my ratings say please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding, but she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Didn't seem to care who took the fall, as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, fantastic. So what was I in the middle of doing? Getting that fingerprint to Nancy, maybe? Or maybe talking to Deirdre about the false alibi. Let's do both of those things. It seems like your friends aren't as confident about where you were as you seem to think they'd be. Between you and me, they're kind of dumb. That's not a very nice thing to say about your friends. You talk to them or something, right? I'm not wrong. Anyway, we're not for real friends. They're still in the 90-day trial period. I can return them in their original packaging at any time. So, Deirdre's never gonna talk to those friends again. What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. You don't seem like a fan. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heights 9 news team. When news breaks, who will be boring about it? Ugh, I just sort of hate her. Why? She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your notebook that I hate that. Any other reason? My dad made her hit list a year back. She just makes stuff up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, didn't she dress up as Nancy once? I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. That is a weird thing to do. Goodbye. Later. Yeah, that is kind of a weird thing to do. <laughs> All right, so let's go inside here. And now I can call Nancy. Wait, I didn't drop off that fingerprint. I've got to I've got to do that. So yeah, it is kind of tough to just just be moving things around because we have so many different characters and so many different I can't do this now. Aww. I can't do this now. I can't drop off Alexi's key there. Fine. Fine. Just a little hard to, to shuffle between the characters. That's Hello? all. Alexi lied about his alibi. That means he's a priority suspect. Keep a close eye on him and try to figure out what he would gain by burning down Town Hall. How's the investigation coming? All right. It looks like I'm going to be able to use some of the equipment around here. If I don't get caught, that is. I don't understand why they won't just let you out. Since all of the evidence is stacked against me, they want a little proof that I didn't do it. Still, it doesn't seem fair. Trust me, I'm with you on that one. You should take over. I'm on the case. Alright, let's have Nancy get the new evidence. Great. 
right, here we go. Now we've got a bunch of evidence. So Deirdre's friends didn't back the alibi. Tony said she was working, no confirm. Oh wait, no, Tony lied about Scoop being open. Oh, we can't do anything with uh, Brenda. We have no, no, no idea about her alibi. Let me move this aside. Okay, Alexis has a false alibi. And then this was uh, Deirdre's. This is why Deirdre was at the scene of the fire. Can you take a look at this? Be right there for an evidence check. Have That's it done not that. case Did closed. That. That's done. Check. Looks like Nancy's done pretty much everything besides get out of jail. And she needs to run that fingerprint. So let's do that fingerprint. Right here. We've got a fingerprint scanner. Might as well use it. Huh. Okay, then. That's done. Now we have that one fingerprint. Are we going to have to get fingerprints from everybody? Is that the idea? I'm pretty sure that's the idea now. Yeah, everybody's got a fake alibi. Hello? My goodness. George, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now, I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Can you please take care of Togo until I'm out? Way ahead of you. Since your dad and Hannah are out of town, I'm watching your house. How's Togo? Pretty upset, but my mom's taking care of him back at home. Good. Thank you so much. It's nothing. We're all here for you. Anything you need. I checked the partial fingerprint from Deirdre's note, but there weren't any matches in the system. If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? You got it. Your turn to take over. I'm on the case. Excellent. George will get fingerprints from everyone. This seems like a great job for George. And hold on a second. I, I made a mistake there. I want to get the fingerprinting kit. That way George has one too. And now George can just fingerprint every single character. And we'll switch back to Nancy. Sounds good. I like it when the games do something like this, where they give you a, a little job, you know. Nice, easy task. Greetings. I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real... train buff. Can you help me find something special for him? Now that's a question I like. You got it. I'm gonna go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. Oh, hey, and that's how we get rid of him. Okay, good. Done. Great, because we, we needed to open up this this thing. But Ned is the one with the key. Ow, Ned, Ned, Ned. Just loan the key to your friend. Great to see you again. You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How crazy? I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do... Wham! See you at 11 because you just got nined. That's not exactly news. Nope. It's better. It's actually interesting. See you later. Bye. Waiting to get like Brenda's card so we can call her. Um, I think. Yeah. Hi. Bye. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. It does sound like she's running a prank show when 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 she puts it that way. Yes. There's her cards. I want to grab one of those cards. Maybe, maybe it's just we get everybody's fingerprint and then we finish with Brenda's. Maybe? So 
Tony's is rather easy, just order some ice cream. Hello, how can I help you? What do you know about Nancy Drew's arrest? It's sad for her and for this town. A lot of people put their faith and trust in Nancy, and she's really let a lot of people down. But she didn't do anything. It's not up to me to decide that. I just know what I've seen. I know that the police force here doesn't take anything lightly. If they've made a decision, I have to stand by it. Oh, excuse me, I have to go get this delivery. Oh, okay. Um, fine, I'll just ignore what I was doing then. Um, all right. This is just like what Nancy saw at the fire. That's Town Hall. Why would she have these pictures? Excellent. And in the back room, we need... Let's see, we need to find the key. Oh, the key is right here. It's the key to the back room. I need to find the right tools to open this lock. I need to get the uh, lock pick, and that lock pick is from Nancy. That's an area. accelerant. Yes, we found another accelerant. Okay, so lock pick I think is in Nancy's house, or maybe Ned's carrying it now. Hi. Do you know anything about Alexi? Right. Him. I'm not a fan. He's got old man weirdness and old man smell. I don't know if one causes the other, or if that's just how he rolls. We shouldn't even have to deal with him. He should have been arrested years ago. Arrested? For what? Oh, it's nothing. I'd really like to know why you think Alexi should have been arrested. I see that. Are you going to tell me? No, probably not. Why don't you go ask him yourself if you care so much? Goodbye. See ya! Goodbye. <laughs> All right, police station again. Drop off these things. Then switch to Nancy so we can switch to Ned. Hello? We found Tulene in Tony's store. Excellent work. Tony is starting to look like a promising suspect. I need help opening a locked file cabinet at Scoop. I've got my lock picking kit here. I'll leave it in the drop box for you. It's your turn. I'm on the case. Let's get that new evidence, which is right over here. It's too bad Nancy can't just open the door and talk to her friends. Or talk to her friends through the door, maybe? Okay, Tony has to lean and the snowflake and those pictures. Yeah! Got lots of evidence against you, Tony. You're looking pretty guilty right now. And let's get this fingerprint run. Excellent. So I still think Ned is the one with the lock picking kit. Hello? Ned, we need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. Ned has no problem at all. Ask her out on a date. I can do that. Yeah. What's up? I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you're out already. Oh, Nedwin. I know you're used to spending time with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Oh, dear Drizanda. It just... Oh, well. Let's just fingerprint her. Yes, got it. Oh, Deirdre. Okay, so we've got Deirdre's uh, fingerprint. And now let's get Tony's fingerprint. Hello, how can I help you? Let's see, ice cream. One order of ice cream, please. Of course. 
I bet I could find a fingerprint on this. Don't say that. Ow, oh, she's gonna hear you. Nailed it. Hello. What's with the snowflake ice cubes? They're the cutest. Deirdre sent me to the novelty shop, and when I saw them, I just about died. I said, Tony, you get those and you put them in your shop. Don't think twice. Can you get them in any other shops around here? Nope. Only right here. Nancy saw a snowflake ice cube, just like what you use here, at the fire's point of origin. That's some compelling evidence. <laughs> Does she still have it? <laughs> Your girlfriend's gonna get arrested. <laughs> You're so mean, Tony. You're so mean. I'm not going to vote for you if you go for re-election. Are you running for a new term? Yes. How's that coming? It gets harder every election cycle. People will do anything for money or exposure. You have to play hardball to stay alive out there. Why do you have paint supplies here? It is a never-ending battle to keep this place up. I get a lot of traffic in this shop, and I am constantly fussing and fixing up this place. It never ends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. I need that convenient truck to get rid of her again. Oh, but she's still here. I have my... I, I, I have this, this kit. Let's see, can I play this game, maybe? Uh, I guess V is one of these two letters. But if? And this looks like a should. Yeah, no, this word. Suspecting. Here we go. Here we go. It, it says suspecting. This is I. Is. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, wasted enough time. And I, I want to finish this. Okay, yeah, but if the suspect. Okay, yeah. I remember that from other playthroughs of the game. It, it's saying, but if the suspect I should suspect the most is the one I should suspect the least, then the less, uh, uh, then shouldn't the one I suspect the least... We need to find the, the right tools to open this lock. Should be the one I suspect the most? We need to find the right tools to open this lock. Isn't it this? We need to find the right tools to open this lock. Hmm. I thought Ned had the uh, fingerprinting case. I guess I was wrong about that. Well... Doesn't matter. Let's go to Alexi. Get rid of him. Salutations. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in here pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? <laughs> Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? You're not a very chipper person. Why is that? I once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. I had friends. I met the girl I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No, it's just this shop is pretty cool. Seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. You'd think that. I was happy. But one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power. And man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. Do you have any antique radios? Maybe in the back room? Sure. Great. So we got rid of him, and now we can open up this with the key. Why would Alexi have an empty bottle of ether? And this must be about Nancy. No, this is about Alexi when he was 20 years old, charged with the theft of a priceless antique lens from the Bennington residence. Dun, 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 dun. 
These are the various mysteries he solved. Got released from jail. I told him I was innocent. It didn't matter. I'm in court. Nobody wants to hire me. Maggie doesn't want to talk to me. I was found guilty. Saw Maggie on a walk with her new boyfriend. Looked at me. Didn't really care. I'm never going to solve this case, am I? It, my life is over now. I'm sad. I'm crying. I'm just... Uh. So let's see if the lock picking kit is inside Nancy's room. I feel like it's not. I feel like... Hmm. This is where we get the fire. Uh, I... Hmm. Well... Let's drop off these fingerprints at the police station. We found ether at Alexi's shop. Really? That seems out of place at an antique shop. It's on the list of commonly used accelerants for fires. Good find. You should take over. I'll take it from here. I thought Nancy already gave up her fingerprint kit, but I could be, I mean her lock picking kit. I could be wrong about that. So is this thing a lock picking kit? We'll pretend it is. If not, I don't really so let's get this new evidence. Lexi has ether. And we'll get these two fingerprints all fingerprinty. Let's switch over to Bess. Hi, Nancy. I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. Deirdre staring at nothing. All right. Hi. Do you visit the novelty shop often? Sure. I love that place. I demanded that Tony go there, and now she's super into it, too. Why do you go to the novelty shop so often? We've been having a lot of house parties lately, so I go a lot. You know, it's a shame that you never come to our parties. I've never heard of your parties. I know. That's so sad for you. Until next time. Bye. Yeah, Bess just walked into that trick. <laughs> um, yeah, she's clearly setting you up for failure there, Bess. Clearly. Clearly. Where's that police station? It's around here, right? Here it is. Okay, hopefully that's the lock picking kit. And let's go to the antique store. How will you be paying for the base you broke? Um, I don't know if I can afford it. I don't like you. You break things. I'm sorry. Oh, did you hear that vase? She's sorry that you made the long trek from China to Europe where you survived two world wars and countless natural disasters. Only to be unceremoniously kicked to death by some space cadet for no reason! Not that that matters now that you are dead! I'm sorry, it was an accident. I didn't... do that. Oh, well, if it was an accident, then I'm not mad. Really? I thought your generation was supposed to be good with sarcasm. Scram, kid! Give me some space to mourn! Do us both a favor and stay out! Oh man, so now he's angry and won't talk to me. Very sad. Hello. Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? My <laughs> phone's always off when I'm on scene, but I check my messages constantly. I'll call back if it's important. If you want to talk about Nancy, 
off the record even, I'm always there for you. So now, now we can get her fingerprints and all that other good stuff. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. Why not? He's not a fan of the media, and he's cranky, and he's old, and I broke one of his things on accident, and he would not let it go. Bye! Drop by if you've got any hot tips. That sounds exactly like him. Definitely. All right, so, um, does Bess have a fingerprinting kit? I don't think she does. So I'm not gonna have her, like, make the, the phone call. Because she can't fingerprint Brenda. She can't fingerprint Brenda. So, I'm, it, because she can't fingerprint Brenda, I'm gonna have her do the lockpicking thing instead. It's another problem with this game when you've got so many characters. It's fun, but keeping track of uh, who can do what can be a little confusing sometimes. I think I might have made that complaint like seven times already. I'm sorry, I'll stop complaining. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Do you know anything about Brenda and Nancy? I don't have to tell you. There's a lot of animosity on Brenda's end. Between you and me, Brenda's still furious about the antiquities of the ancient world special. The traveling exhibit that Nancy found out was full of fakes? That's the one. Brenda broke the story herself. Word is, she had negotiated a special with one of the cable channels. But when Nancy broke the story, the cable people killed her special. Brenda went full out ballistic when she heard. I don't know if this is true or not. They say one of the Heights 9 news interns went home that day with a broken arm. What? That's the rumor. One thing I know. She hates Nancy. Big time. Wow, just smiling and casually... Bye. Oh, man. Bye! Brenda is just so callous. Oh, man. Just... She's like, ooh, yeah, isn't that cool? That's the best. All right, so this wiki journal is pretty useful. It tells us about everything. So let's see. Ned has the evidence key. We can all dust. Deirdre was lying about yesterday. Ned took the fingerprints. Bess has a lock picking kit. Okay. Oh, and this hint tells us what to do. Okay. What do we. I used the chromatograph machine already. And Brenda's fingerprint is the last one. Okay, great. Now she's gone. Now Tony's gone, so I can do this. The lock picking kit will help. It's locked. Huh. I sound just like Nancy. Hmm. All right, so we want to put them in, in a specific order. Yellow, red, blue, and green. This is going to be red. Can't see inside. I need to figure out how to crack this Yellow, kind of lock. blue, green, green. Green, blue, red, yellow, blue. Nope. It didn't work. Best said something about not knowing how to crack that kind of lock. So I think we, uh, I think that's our clue to go to Nancy's house. Yeah, we're because we already looked at everything in Nancy's house. Let's see. Oh, here it is. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's the thing I'm missing. Hey, that's the picture of Maya from Secret of the Scarlet. No, I mean uh, the final scene, game number five. Oh, that's so cute. That's really cool. Oh, hey, the one from the opening scene of the game. That's nice. I like that. All right. <clears throat> Tony's not there. Um, she's still hanging around. Okay, so I'll just do swap a lot until she's gone. Let's play a new one. He's... Of... The... Okay, this is a quote from Nancy Drew, the, the 
Ohana Carousel. He's got, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Most something. Yeah. I think most of these puzzles are from the quotes from other Nancy Drew games. So totally creeps me out. This is what Elliot said about Harlan. One of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful people I've ever met. Most helpful guys I've ever met, okay. Woo! Please tell me Tony's gone. Oh, come on, Tony, I keep trying to rob you. Just leave, just leave. Just leave. Let's try a new one. So, or no. There we go. okay if I do this right now they'll something to something they'll stop at nothing my only is to lie low yeah I'll see if I can remember this this is obviously Nancy Drew quote my only hope is to lie low and keep moving. This is Yanni talking about his competitors from Nancy Drew, um, White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Right? They'll stop to, they'll stoop to anything. They'll stoop, they'll stop at nothing. My only hope is to lie low, keep moving. Trust no one. If that's not Yanni, it sounds exactly like something he would say. So, sorry for that minor break. Let's go back to this puzzle. The lock picking kit will help. So, it's going to be red, yellow, blue, green. No, that's not it. Does it matter what order you put these things in? I don't think it does, actually. The lock picking Let's try that again. Actually, yeah, it does matter what order you put those in. Okay, good to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Restarting this puzzle so often. The Apparently, this is a really tough help. puzzle for me. All right, yellow. Yellow, red, blue, green. Red, blue, green, and then it's gonna be red, yellow, blue, green, 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 blue, red, yellow, red, blue. Oh yeah! It's kind of a tough puzzle. It's not so tough if you got it written down. But I can't believe it is that a this is what. Tony thinks of Nancy. This is an incomplete list of criminal activities that involve Nancy Drew. Her unsanctioned, acti unsanctioned activities are unnecessarily dangerous. They don't serve the public interest. They have resulted in large city fund expenditures and drastic drops in public approval. Now's the time to send a clear message. The city's tolerance for Miss Drew is reaching an end. Like, oh no, she stopped the patent thief. And they investigated our court system. Uh-huh. She made the police look terrible, and the police had to apologize. 3% approval rating. Wow, these approval ratings just went down. So crime ring, stolen goods on the black market, had to do extra security, had to fix the theater, had to apologize that we were idiots. We had to renovate the theater again. Increased hotel security. It, diplomatic apologies, new seminars on child safety, hiring process 
That costs a lot of money. So basically, she's got lots of reasons to not like Nancy. That's, that's what I'm taking from that situation. Is that it? Oh, I can't make a phone call here. I think that was it. So let's just call Nancy. Hi. Yeah, Tony's definitely got issues. It looks like Tony was holding a major grudge against you. I figured as much. She's never been exactly friendly. Once I get out of here, I'm going to see how serious this grudge is. What was it like being in the fire? Were you scared? Absolutely. It just spread so quickly. Whoever set that fire knew what they were doing. From everything we've been hearing, you're lucky to be alive. Until we catch the arsonist, the station might actually be the safest place for me. I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. Excellent. Let's switch to George so we can get that fingerprint for from Brenda. Hi. It's your turn to take the case. George, reporting for duty. So go to the antique store. Oh, I can't make a phone call here? Well, what about here? Yes, yes, yes. You have reached the Heights 9 Action News Tip Line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. All right, so we call that fake news tip. That should get rid of Brenda for us. It does, and now we can see the accelerant. Acetone. That's one of the accelerants. Let's see, I think we get an Easter egg if we... Ah, yep, we do get an Easter egg. <laughs> if you play with her makeup too often. Ha ha ha. And fingerprinting here. All right, I did it. Woohoo! Yeah, Brenda is not the smartest reporter, really. It's like, okay, totally anonymous phone call. She will run away and immediately respond. No idea what the story is, no idea where to go, just somewhere in the north part of town. Run, 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 run. It is quite silly. I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Oh, sure you can give Nancy your Easter egg. That would be so cool. All right, Nancy, last phone call. Hi. I'm turning the case over Sorry, to you. last fingerprint. Nancy Drew, taking over. Last fingerprint. Let's get this fingerprint. Still need to get that, um, the gas from Nancy's dad. I'll check, check at Nancy's house at some point. Alrighty, which one is a match? Brenda? It's Brenda. Aha! Brenda's fingerprints, so... Brenda was the one who lured Deirdre over to the crime scene. She has acetone in Van and has a fingerprint on the note. Can you come look at the evidence board? I'm on my way. I disagree with your cop work there, Nancy. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right, what do we have left? Uh, Fingerprinting. Probably need to get Ned to distract Deirdre again. Hello? Ned, I need your Ned's expertise. I see what you did there. This is about Deirdre, isn't it? Yes, we need to distract her. You have to ask her out on a date. I have to what? Just take her out for lunch. Stall her for a while. But what if people see us? 
I'll get a reputation. Ned. Okay, I'll do it. It's weird, but I'll do it. Uh -huh. Thanks. I was right. Yeah, Ned has to ask Deirdre out again. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. Ned, reporting for duty. Because he's a Ned... Ned expert. Sorry, I was trying to say Ned expert, but I didn't know how to mix Ned's name with expert. Sorry. Sorry, I failed. I tried to be cool. Maybe I could try Deirdre's name. So she's a Deirdre spurt? It doesn't even make sense. I can't do nicknames. I'm sorry. What's the deal? I waited for you for an hour. I'm sorry. I ran into traffic. All right. Fine. Don't let it happen again. Wow, Ned. Standing Deirdre up for a really long time. Very rude. In Ned's defense, Deirdre didn't say where they were supposed to meet to go out on their date. So it's not like he could have shown up there. Yeah. Isn't that exactly the same thing you were wearing before you got changed? No, it's completely different. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't even notice. Calm down, dear Dorella. Why don't we go on a date right now? I was wondering if you could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. And this time they actually Were you do able to distract Deirdre? Yes. Great. I'll call Bess or George to go see if she's left anything behind. Ned, you really shouldn't be calling your girlfriend when you're on a date with somebody else. Just that's that's not good. Nancy, what's up? It makes me wonder where Ned and Deirdre are going on their date. Ned's got Deirdre distracted. Can you see if she's left anything behind? Drop off anything you find at the station. You got it. It's your turn to take the case. Time to help Nancy. It sounds like they went somewhere to get food, though. But obviously not here, not Scoop. Okay, so now we can spy through this, this thing. Hmm. So the blacksmith architect and the framework ham party. So that's actually listed in their, their journal thing. Clues challenge update. It's Rackham. So that's that's the person. Rackham. So that was that particular clue. And then what is this clue? So through the round, a lower realm. Not sure what that one was, though. Buzz, buzz, buzz. This is Nancy, but the other two weren't me. Smiley face, promise. Best. Hey, quit giving me updates. Deirdre glares at me when my phone buzzes. Try to avoid talking about Nancy if at all possible. Girls don't like that. That's terrible advice. You should say lots of good things about Nancy on your date, Ned. Uh, full disclosure, this is Nancy. Fake break a fake leg on the fake date. Huh. This is from before the fire yesterday. We need to get this to Nancy. Excellent. Excellent. So that's 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 sort of the point of the whole fake date thing. Yeah, it is weird. Ned's response is like, wait, I need to ask her out? When his response should have been, I already asked her out. And and then I stood her up for an hour. By accident. I I don't know. So Ned and Deirdre went to Pancake City and started eating pancakes. Obviously, you take that's the lead now. Date I'm on the case. That sounds right to me. They, they got some pancakes. So let's go over here. We're gonna look up that ticket thing. Now that we have a ticket number. What was the number? RH627E401. RH627E. E what? E401. Power ballads, the number one cause of running red lights. Wait a second. This puts her at Town Hall right when the alarm was switched off. Aha! So, a convenient... Well, I don't know if this is an alibi. Anyway, 
Deirdre is at town hall, too busy singing. I don't know what she's singing. Do you really want, do you really want to taste it? Throw your dog the invisible bone. So Can we have great evidence, evidence now. Be right over. Not yet. It's got to be watertight. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, Ayo, gotta let go. I don't know whatever songs Deirdre would be singing. I, I love you like a love song, baby. And I keep hitting repeat, 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 repeat. Hello. Let's see. Your turn, Your to, turn take to take over. George, reporting for duty. Um, somebody says we're missing some stuff on Tony. So let's see what what done, 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 done. George is amazing here. Done, 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 <laughs> done. I can't do this now. Done. Done, 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 done. George is just amazing. All right, good job, George. Let's see if we've got a thing on accelerants. And sing some more power ballads. Ah, uh, here it is. That must be what Nancy's dad was getting for her. All right, let's get it for uh, Nancy. I'm turning the case over to you. I'm on the case. We're living in a powder keg and giving off sparks. I really need you tonight. Forever's gonna start tonight. I need you to Forever's gonna, gonna start results. tonight. Which accelerant was used? Like a song like that, which, you know, just kind of scream sing that song, one of those ones. The fire was started with isopropyl That's alcohol, what Deirdre was, not gasoline. Deirdre is clearly Adding this to the to. evidence against me will help prove I didn't start the fire. Cause I'm lost, I'm lost in the woods. Uh, let's go here. Okay, so I was not paying attention to what Nancy just said because I was too busy singing. Um, might be a problem for me. Okay, so this is evidence. I think she's saying that's evidence. I, I put it in my file, right? Can you take a look at this? On my way. Mm, not strong enough yet. Keep working on it. Hey, what am I missing, bro? I don't, I don't see anything I'm missing here. Uh... Okay, so let's see. Nancy needs the chromatograph results. Those are good. Those are the Alexi things. Okay, town hall pictures. Tony's got... Oh no, I missed that thing at Tony's. Okay, well then let's uh, switch over to uh, a, the Tony thing. Uh, let's go to, to Bess. Nancy, what's up? I need you to take over. Bess, reporting for duty. I know every time I play this game, uh, the people in the comments just start singing that song. What's that song? We didn't start the fire, and it's always burning since the world's first turning. We didn't start the fire. I just, I haven't heard that song enough to be able to actually sing it well. So I, I try not to. Um... In my humble opinion, you either start something, you start questioning. Yeah, this this is another Nancy Drew quote. Obviously, they're all Nancy Drew quotes. So I missed something at Tony's. It's very sad. We'll, we'll sneak in her back area. Yeah, Billy Joel, is he the one that sings, I didn't start the fire? That's not the Billy Joel song I know. Um, the, the, the really angry one is the one I know. 
Oh, gosh. Um, until one of them cracks. Mm -hmm. You can speak your mind, but not on my time. I don't care what you say anymore, this is my life. Go ahead with your own life and leave me alone! That's the Billy Joel song I know. I'm gonna finish this quote until somebody cracks though. Oh, Piano Man's a good song too, yeah, that's, that's another famous one. Play me a song, you're the piano man. Play me a song tonight. Cause we're all in the mood for a melody. No, for a, not melody. I think it's melody. And you've got us feeling all right. My humble opinion. Yeah, this is Daryl Gray from the first Nancy Drew game. This is what Daryl Gray says when you, you ask him how the case is going. He says you, you just keep pressuring them. You either hand it over to the police or just keep pressuring your suspects until one of them cracks. Got it. Tori and Tino Balducci would have been a great pair. Maybe not. They would have been a weird pair. Okay, so I already took a look at that. What's Tony doing with town hall plans? I forgot to plans? take a look at this. I should make sure Nancy knows about this. Yeah, what's the other line? The, the real... She's got secret plans for town hall. That's important. Yeah, there we go. So she's kind of planning on, like, changing um, town hall. There we go. That's the important thing. That's the last piece of evidence. Da -da -da. Oh man, I'm trying to remember that one line from the song. Oh. And the waitress is practicing politics, and the businessmen slow to get stoned. I can't do yes, that they're now. sharing a drink they call loneliness, but it's better than drinking alone. La da -de da 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 Dum, dum, dum. Here we go. We found some of Tony's files. I think she wanted to develop the town hall site. So there's a chance that she could have wanted the town hall to burn down. I'm going to see if my dad can help us out with this. Any word on the sample? Yes. It tested positive for isopropyl alcohol. It would take quite a bit to start a fire. So let's keep an eye out for a stockpile. I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. Isopropyl alcohol. That was with Brenda's area. She had the isopropyl alcohol. She did. She did. That was totally her. It, 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 that's nail polish remover. It's a fancy term for nail polish remover. And whenever I've you know, got like, all I the see evidence I need, that, I just need to make sure it's in the right place now. Whenever I see like the nail polish remover in the bathroom or something, I freak out. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's going to burn down the town hall, which, you know, that's, that's not true. I but think it, it I've still got enough me. evidence. Be right over. Hmm. Looks solid. Looks like you just got yourself a get out of jail free card, detective. Yeah, you can start a fire with a toaster. Uh, this particular fire was not started with a toaster, though. It was started with a snowflake. Yes, I'm out. Yay, freedom! I'm free! We're free, I'm out of jail. Nancy Drew with her spunky blue roadster. All right, and uh, what else do we do now? Haven't done that. Oh, okay. Can't check that we off yet. We need to talk to all of the suspects, right? Okay, so we just, we just talk to everyone, which is which is fun. Or somebody saying I've got acetone? Or, I'm so confused now. Well, Nancy, how are you adjusting to life on the outside? Fine, thank you. 
I'm not in the mood to do an interview. That's okay. Everything you say will be off the record. You're still holding your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Have it. Still holding it. All right. You're good. Word of warning, I will get the exclusive. I always do. Okay, people are saying isopropyl alcohol is not nail polish remover. That That's rubbing alcohol. Um, sorry if I'm getting the different types of alcohol uh, mixed up. Not an alcoholic? Sorry. Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? But it is the bottle here. So is this I wanna, your cell I phone number? Yes. So acetone nail polish remover, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I think those are both things that you would have, though, in, 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 the, in the cabinet, right? Because, I mean, that's where we keep all the band-aids and stuff, too, in, in, in the bathroom cabinet. Why are you playing me up as the villain in the media? I'm just doing my job. I'm letting the world know about all of the suspicious things you've done. You should be reporting on the truth, not trying to grab a better job. My life is at stake. Mine too. And anyway, what good does telling the truth do if no one can hear you? Why wasn't your van at the fire? It was. I just came separately. I share the van with other reporters sometimes. Can you tell me a little bit about your van? I never pictured myself as the kind of person to drive around in a van. But I have to admit, this one is pretty cool. Why is that? First thing, it's less of a van and more of a mobile action center. I spend more time in here prepping stories than I do at home. And yet it's a timeshare van that you share with a bunch of other people. Do you mind if I look around in the van? Yes, for a variety of reasons, Nancy. First, it's mine, so no. Second, I have dirt on everyone in this town in here. And as a journalist, it's my ethical duty to make sure that all of the embarrassing footage I've got stays private until such a time that it is fit for broadcast. You mean, like, blackmail? No. No! Is that what you think of me? It's not blackmail. It's fact-checking. I have to balance the individual's right to privacy with the public's need to know. You didn't exactly extend that courtesy to me. Didn't I? I think the public needs to know everything it can about the criminal, I'm sorry, alleged criminal activities of the local self-appointed do-gooder. Yeah, nobody likes you, Brenda. Nobody likes you. You have the reputation of being the first on the scene. How do you do that? When news breaks, I get there first. Yes, I've seen the ad. I mean, how do you make it to the scene first? It's a secret of the trade. It's called time travel. You were at the scene of the fire so fast. How did you manage that? It's my job to be ready at a second's notice. Some people think I'm just lucky. I prefer to think I'm just that good. See you later. Goodbye. Her van is nowhere as cool as the van that belongs to Nicholas Falcone. Sorry, Nicholas Falcone from Game 5. Much cooler van. Look who's out! Glad to see that you could get them to see sense. Do you need anything? If you need anything... Thanks. I didn't know you were following my case. Couldn't help. Small town. I want you to know that I didn't doubt you not for a second. That means a lot. Trust me. I know. I know what it's like to be in your shoes. It's the worst feeling you can have. You know, your friends really worked hard to get you out. I know. I think it's really nice of Alexi here to say that Nancy's friends helped. You know, he was nothing but mean to Nancy's friends, but he could tell they were really trying to help. So I feel like that's the reason why he was falling for the trick of going to the back room. He knew what they were up to, but he knew they wanted to help Nancy, and so he was okay with it. I should have worked harder myself. It's probably too late, but anything I can do to help you, anything you need to know, I'm your guy. I know. I, I just like how Alexi's so nice here. Just like a total change of personality, almost. Can you tell me anything about the fire? Anything at all? You know, I, I wish that I could. I, I already told everything I know. Except... Except what? Okay, I went in. You what? I went in. Into the building. I saw you come running out. You, you looked scared. I just knew it wasn't you who set the fire. And the reporter was just standing there, like she was waiting for you to come out. It wasn't right. Why didn't you say anything? 
It wouldn't have mattered. No one listens to me or trusts me. Will you testify to that? Yes, but it's not enough. You, you need more evidence. Why did you give up on being a detective? It wasn't a choice. The cases stopped coming. What do you know about Tony? She railroaded you. Practically dropped the police at your door. Either she just hates you, or she's up to something that only you could crack. Bye. Bye. I do kind of wish that he'd teamed up with Nancy to help solve the mystery. I mean, come on, he does help. But I, I wish, you know, like, he and uh, Nancy work together to solve the case, and so he gets credit as, you know, his great comeback. He's finally back. He, he, he is a great detective again. Maybe? I don't know. I don't think, you know, if Alexei solved this case single-handedly, would that be enough to save his reputation? Nancy, happy to see that you're doing all right. Just so you know, I've been pulling for you this whole time. You are such a liar. That is the exact opposite of what you've been doing. You were laughing at the fact that I got arrested. That's not what I heard. Well, you know what they say. Don't believe half of what you read and anything you hear. Including now? I see that your reputation is well deserved. What do you want? Tell me about the fire. What were you doing? I've been over this with enough people already. I was out, I saw smoke, I made a call. Did you put pressure on the police to arrest someone? Yes, of course I did. You did? I didn't tell them who to arrest. I just told them to do their jobs. Aren't you worried that you pressured the police into making unnecessary assumptions? You would have done the same thing. You know it's harder than you think to run a town. If someone has to take the fall for the common good once in a while, so be it. No! That's not very fair. Fairness is a luxury in government. No! It's sad, but it's true. What, what, what is this? I'll let you go. Bye. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's tough being in charge of the town, so if I have to send an innocent person to jail and ruin their life every now and then, that's just the way it goes. No. No, you're crazy. I do like the ice cream in this game. Mm. Yum. It's delicious ice cream, but I don't like this lady who sells the ice cream. Mmm. Mm, peanut butter ice cream. Mmm. Ooh, cookie dough ice cream. I saw a cookie dough. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, that's some good ice cream. Oh, and here's the map of the town. I'm sure like all these locations are from the other games. And from, uh, ooh, Hamburger Heaven, I want to go there. From the books. From the books. Look what the cat dragged out of the jail. Good to see you were so concerned. Oh, I'm sorry if I was misleading. I wasn't concerned. I want to know what you were doing at the fire. Why were you there? Look, I don't care about the stupid clues challenge. I really don't. The only reason I was in it was because my dad never shuts up about how I need to be active in the community and blah. Then why were you following me? I assumed you were cheating. Why would you assume that? Because I was cheating. I thought we were all cheating. That's why I thought it would be fun to catch you in the act. But instead, you did something super crazy, which I did not anticipate. I didn't set the building on fire. That's cool. Just so you know, you do do a pretty great impression of someone who has recently burned down a building for no reason. Uh. Why are you hanging out here today? Can you tell your friend to stop spying on me? It's distracting. I'm not spying on you! The fact that you responded proves my point. Oh, shoot. See you later. See ya! Oh, well. <laughs> Bess is funny, and everybody in the chat is saying Deirdre is super relatable. They can totally understand how she doesn't Hi. like putting up with perfect Nancy. Can I get you some ice cream? No, never again. Am I missing something? I thought you love ice cream. Loved ice cream. But then I had bowl after bowl trying to keep my cover, and then my brain froze permanently. I'm so cold, Nancy. If I don't make it, tell my parents I died of ice cream poisoning. Okay, okay, I won't get you ice cream. Good, and this is all over, I could go for a room temperature snack, and then a warm snack, and then something hot. 
baby steps. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Bess is very funny. I like that. <laughs> I just love the animation of her pretending to be just destroyed by ice cream. Hi. I also do like the animation of Deirdre glaring at Bess. That's cool, too. Thanks for being so helpful, giving Ned all the information. Just looking out for my number one buddy. <laughs> right. Your boyfriend's cute, and you were in the clink. I think I'm blameless here. Well, I think. Relax, Nancy. I'm not one of those girls. I was just window shopping. Anyone can tell he's not going to budge on the you situation. It was just nice to spend a little time with him instead of the idiot boys on campus. I swear, you think they're gonna get more mature in college, but they just head the other direction. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, some guys do act weird in college. They feel like, oh no, mom and dad aren't here. I get to be on my own for the first time in my life. And so they just make a bunch of terrible decisions. Like, I'm going to drink two gallons of milk and stay up until 3 a.m. Even though I've got a class in two hours. I, it, crazy guys. Okay, and this is George, everyone. Say hi to George. Nancy, you're out. I was so worried. You have no idea. Thank you for your help. You guys are the best friends in the world. We're not out of the woods. You need anything, you let me know. So, how's the case coming? Okay. Much better now that you're out. We're a team, but I still like it when you lead the way. So, how did Ned do with Deirdre? I have never seen him so stressed out. In any other case, it would have been funny. I sort of feel bad for Deirdre. Only sorta. I don't want to get a reputation here as a softy. Did you find out anything else about Alexei's detective past? Not much. I asked around a little. He solved a lot of tough cases. It's not fair that the town just turned its back on him. What if he was really framed? Then we'll take that case next. See you later. Bye. People are uh, um, saying my example of college students being crazy is oddly specific. I had some terrible roommates. Terrible college roommates. Yeah. Oh dear, poor me. But that was a long time ago. I am George. I am so important that you better leave me a message. What? That's silly. Thank you for calling Bess. Leave Bess a message. That's great. Yeah, no, no, so I was, uh... Basically, I'd stay in the library every night until closing time, um, because usually my roommate was asleep by then, and that way I wouldn't have to deal with my roommate. I, I was one of those people. I was non-confrontational, I think. That's probably the best way to put it. I am George. I am so important that you I better leave me I thought there's like a funny message. phone call if you try to call George, like, from the same room. George hates it when I call her from the same room. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the one. Okay. Did that. So now Nancy needs to explore Brenda's van. That's shown up on her task list. Don't know why. I guess it's you talk to all the suspects and then Nancy can like totally explore Brenda's van. How's that? This is a really cool background, by the way. It's great. Woohoo! And where did Ned go? Ned is... Where did Ned go? Hi. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah. You know, it would be helpful if you got to, like, pick who your roommate was in college. Maybe that would help rather than me being assigned with a random person. You have reached yeah. the Heights 9 Action News Tip Live. That probably would have worked better Please if I could have picked my roommate. To report breaking news in the North River Heights area, say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Yeah, poor Ned. He's just not here anymore. Nancy gets out of jail and Ned disappears. So this was, in fact, acetone. All right, that is acetone. Alcohol. This is it the isopropyl like this alcohol. this is for cleaning the equipment, but if she has more... So 
So she has two different types of accelerant, so that's not good. Let's see. How could Brenda have possibly made it to all of those interviews so quickly? It doesn't make sense. I think that key unlocks... He stole that key from Brenda and it's gonna unlock something in here. I just need to find it. I think it's one of these cases on the right hand side. Here we go. Miss Carlton, there's been some frustration that. Okay, so this confirms that she's really mad about the antiquities stories. Alright. I mean, Tony already mentioned that earlier, but it's good to get confirmation, I suppose? Welcome to Pizza Palace, home of Lord Pizza, the kingliest triple meat pizza in the land. Yum. Oh no, I mean, if I could go to college, I'd do it totally differently. Yeah, I, 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 I might go to a different college, I, I'd have like a different major, I'd become like an important businessman or a lawyer or something like that, instead of becoming a handsome YouTuber. Or no, I would have done a lot, I would have done this YouTube stuff differently as well. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's what everybody would do if you could go back in time, like, ten years. I, I, I definitely do things differently the second time around. Hello, Nancy. I'll let you go. Bye. Hmm. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Ah, oh, I don't know what I'm missing here. Uh, let's call Dad. Nancy, hi. Do you know anything about Tony's development deals? Offhand, not much. What do you need? My friends found some paperwork of Tony's. It's starting to look like she might stand a profit from Town Hall being demolished. Let me look into that. Give me a call back in a bit. Yum, yum, yum. Hi, Nancy. See you later. We need Good to day. talk about, um... What do you call it? Brenda's schedule. Not obviously Brenda's schedule. We talked about it with Nancy's friends over at school. Dad, Nancy's dad is in Australia. He's in Australia right now. I don't know what the time difference is between the United States and Australia. Hi. How do you think Brenda gets around town so quickly? She probably speeds and never gets tickets because she's good looking. Didn't you get a ticket from a red light camera? All right. That's a flaw in my logic, but I'm still going to assume I'm right. I've got no idea how she does it. Bye. Bye. Hi, Nancy. Bye. See ya. Hmm, let's see. Is Tony here? Hello. Does River Heights have any shortcuts that most people don't know about? Shortcuts? No. They're the tunnels, but those are locked up as far as I know. There we go, this is it. Yeah, from back when everyone was worried about the Cold War. They've been locked for as long as I can remember. Doubt you could find your way in if you tried. Bye. Goodbye. Hello. I'm stuck. Do you have any advice from your detective days? Times were different back then. The town's a lot nicer these days. We used to have lots of crooks running around in those tunnels. Tunnels? Yeah, there's a whole Nancy, network of tunnels under the, the town. Tunnels. They say they're from the Cold War, but they're even older. Built by smugglers and the like. And the city turned them into a fallout shelter in the 50s. How do I find my way in? I don't know if I should help you with that. The tunnels are very dangerous. Come on, Alexi. I need that. I have to find a way into the tunnels. My case depends on it. I see. You know, Nancy, when I was younger, I used to love to read. A good book always gave me great ideas. There's a book over there you should check out. I really don't have time for that. There's always time for this book. I always brought it with me on my adventures as a kid. You'll want to read it cover to cover. Bye. Good day. 
so many secret tunnels in all the Nancy Drew games. Definitely. Alexi said cover to cover. There must be a code on the book's cover. Good job, it's Nancy. It's a coded guide for getting around the tunnels. And of course, it's a puzzle. You need to figure out if it's A, B, or C to solve that. And then if it's A, you do A. If it's B, you do B. And if it's C, you do C. Fortunately, the solution's every single time you... It's the same every time you play Alexi's the game. Alexi's guide said there'd be a tunnel entrance right outside the antique shop. So you don't have to get too stuck here. And there's the secret tunnel entrance right there. Hello, Nancy. Bye. Bye. Bye? Oh, okay. Um, let's get rid of her and then check the tunnel entrance. You have reached the Heights 9 action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Excellent. Um, she just like immediately disappears. This must be how Brenda gets around town so quickly. Excellent. So this is her secret area. That's about it. Pretty close to the end of the game. This tunnel system, yeah, it's a great way for getting around town. Still seems kind of crazy, huh? Brenda would, yeah, Brenda's probably gonna smell like a, like the sewer after that. It's kind of amazing Nancy didn't know about those secret tunnels. Nancy would have found every single tunnel in town at this point. Oh, Brenda's still not here. Hmm, Alright. Maybe we visit George. No. I hmm. That's done. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Still saying explore the van. Oh. Hello, Nancy. Bye. Goodbye. Great. Okay. I'll figure something out. I do like Nancy's phone. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Let's go to George. What's up? Do you know about any tunnels in River Heights? Yeah, I didn't know that they were actually real. How cool is that? Goodbye. Bye. Great. Nancy's magic car. I do like Nancy's car. Hello. Nothing to talk to these characters Bye. about, right? Bye. Bye. Let's see. Hint Hotline. Hint Hotline has never been helpful in any of these games. Hey, oh, what's well. up? See you later. See ya. Hello, how can I help you? See you later. Darn. Bye. Okay, fine. I guess the puzzle's a man, but I don't like it. Lexi? Hi, Nancy. See you later. Good day. All right. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to do besides that puzzle in the spam. I mean, the, the van. You have reached the Heights 9 action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. 
Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. That hint hotline is just... I, I wish the hint hotline was more useful. You are best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Yes. Did she tell you yep, about her plans to puzzle. burn down Town Hall? No, she didn't. I, I mean, she didn't burn anything. It must have come as a shock to discover what your friend had done. But she didn't. It's natural to be in denial. You just want the best for your friend, yes? Of course. Who else would she have told her plans to? No one. Has she always been secretive like that? No. So just recently? That's not what I meant. Does she have any enemies? Well, she solves crimes, so there might be some hard feelings from the people she's gotten in trouble. She solves crimes, so she must be pretty familiar with how criminals cover up their tracks. Yeah, she knows all of the tricks. Wait, what are you getting at? If anyone could get away with the perfect crime, it'd be Nancy, right? I don't know about that. So you think there's potential she won't get away with burning down Town Hall? That's not what I said at all. So you do think she'll get away with it? She didn't do it. She's not guilty. I can see that this is very emotional for you. Thank you for your time. We'll continue to follow the story as it develops. You didn't... You took what I said and screwed it all up. Oh no, Bess. You did great. I know it's upsetting, but really well done. I want to go again. Great. I'll find you as details develop. Oh, Bess. Wait, what's Deirdre doing back there? I should try modifying the settings of the other tracks to enhance the background track and hear what she was saying. You're yeah, this is just the... That's it. Only four more tracks to Versus. go. Um, okay. So, let's do this. Fortunately, the game tells you when you, you've got it right. Is this a negative? So what am I doing with the cars? You are best, you are best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Did she tell you about her plans to burn down Town Hall? You are best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and Hmm, man. You are best you are best Mar There we go. Oh, do I need to match both of them? Is that the problem? Oh wait. I'm relatively good. I don't see anything. I saw her come through this way. It's yes. gotta be here. You didn't. I mean, you didn't. So Maybe it was destroyed in the fire. I'm not imagining things. I know what I saw. Of course. I can't assume yeah. that. No. It's not here, okay? That's not what I meant. No, I'll find it. I'll find it. Deirdre thought she was following me. Who was she really following? Just a terrible puzzle. Okay, yeah, that that puzzle, not a fun puzzle. Oh well. Let's uh, talk to Deirdre about it. Hi. What do you know about the notes that were left for me? Promise not to be super mad. Okay, fine. That's not the first note I found. I found another note earlier on your porch. What did it say? It gave me a place to go. I went there. Nothing happened. That's when I thought, maybe someone was expecting to meet you. Next time I intercepted the note and sent it your way. And you followed me. Right. Why are you admitting all this? I thought you hated me. I do hate you. But I don't hate you. It's complicated. I just truly enjoy hating you and I'd hate for something to happen that would throw off our equilibrium. Also, it's not fair. Well, that's really nice of you. Thanks. And that's why I hate you. So much positivity. And you're welcome. See you later. See ya. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's see if that was important. Hello.
Hello, Nancy. You're the one who left me the notes, aren't you? Yes. You lured me to Town Hall. You led me to that room. All I need to know now is whether you were trying to frame me or trying to kill me. They both would have made a great story. You won't get away with this. You and I both know you have no proof. I've got your fingerprints, and I... And I'll be on the air before you know it. Spinning your story so hard that every potential juror in this town will be itching to lock you up and throw away the key. Far from it. I'm going to make sure everyone in this town finds out who you really are. Look, you do what you want. If I were you, I'd take my head start and book myself a flight out of the country. I'm not the type to run away. Before you say that, I'd take a good long look at Alexi. That man's sad, broken down, lonely life in that grimy old store is your future if you stay. Your choice. This is about the antiquity show, isn't it? This is about you. You know who screws up my leads? You. You know who gets in my way? You! You know who I'm sick of? Precious, special, Nancy Drew. I'm going to love watching this town turn its back on you. Alrighty. Too busy, can't talk. Brenda basically admits she's the culprit here. And now we need to stop her thingy. We need to stop her broadcast and only George can do that. Nancy, how's it going? It's Brenda. She's setting me up. I knew you'd figure it out. Now I just need to figure out how to stop her broadcast. Say no more. I know just the thing. Let me go grab it. If you can go find a battery for me, I'll be right back. Excellent. The battery is upstairs in Nancy's drawer. Not this one. That one. Do something like that. Someone could really get hurt. Who would do this? Ah, the town hates Some of the me. fine citizens of River Heights have been expressing their outrage ever since you were arrested. I can't believe someone would do that. Don't worry about it. They're just a big bunch of cowards. We'll take care of this for you. Were you able to find anything to stop Brenda? I think I've got something good. Sort of. It's in pieces, but I'll figure it out. Maybe you could help? Of course. What is it? A jammer. Once this baby is up and running, there'll be no way she can get her broadcast on the air. Do you have the battery? Yes. Here. That's exactly the one I need. Perfect. We need to hurry. I'll work on getting all the pieces wired up if you could work on getting all the connections powered on. You got it. I need to get all of the connections powered on. That's exactly what George just said. Come on, Nancy. Alright, let's get all these connections figured out. It's your basic pipe puzzle. I know we do this in several Nancy Drew games. A puzzle like this. If not the exact same puzzle. Definitely not the exact same puzzle. It's gotta be different every time. Definitely we do this in the deadly device as well. Gotta go like this. No, got that wrong. Yes, here we go. Got it. This Hold should on. keep Brenda from going on the air for a little while at least. Perfect. You'll need to connect it to the signal box in Brenda's van. She should be using the standard system, so you'll just need to connect the two together. Here, take a look. There are colored wires with this. Just connect the identical colored terminals with a matching color wire. Be careful not to cross any wires, though, or it'll short out and not turn on. Once it's on, it'll be blocking the signal, but will only last for about 30 minutes before the battery dies. Sounds good. I wish I could make it last longer, but it's the best I can do right now. Go find a way to put it on Brenda's van's antenna, but don't let her know it's there. 
Once it's on, you'll have to move quickly. It won't last long. Bye. Bye. Yeah, the people of River Heights. We don't get to see any of Nancy's neighbors, but you think, like, at least one of her neighbors would stand up for her. Instead of throwing a rock through her window. Uh, poor Nancy. Let's get rid of Brenda. You have reached the Heights 9 action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Okay, where is the jammer? Here it is. The jammer should go here. All I need to do next is match the colored terminals. Why does the antenna even have, like, this spot for a jammer? That seems weird. Like, wouldn't they not have such a big, obvious vulnerability in their system? Wouldn't that be the smart way to do that? And this is the solution. That's it! Signal is getting jammed. Time to hurry! Ow! Hey, Nancy found a key for the one room downstairs. Hey, Nancy, Nancy should probably call someone. She could probably call the police. Apparently, Chief McGinnis is a big fan of hers. Let's just wander around the station. Right one, hooray! So here we go, here is the stuff. These are all her plans for setting the thing on fire. Yes, yeah, very detailed plans. This is definitely enough evidence for the chief to know it was Brenda. Definitely. Brenda! Nancy? Lose something? I'll be honest, I was not expecting to see you here. Clever move with the jammer. This is how you got into Town Hall to start the fire, isn't it? If you have to ask, do I need to bother to answer? Why? Why would you do this? You've got the next 10 to 20 years to figure that out. I'll give you a hint. If they give you TV privileges in the big house, you'll be seeing a lot of me. But why frame me? If I didn't, you'd screw up everything for me. And now, you can't. Ha, huh, here it is. Take a good look. It may look like a tape, but to you, it's the final nail in your coffin. I need to get out of here and stop Brenda before she broadcasts whatever is on that tape. Oh man, good thing Brenda doesn't know how to work live streams. Uh, yeah, she's got like a 10 minute delay on her stuff. So that's good, that's good for me. I, I, I'm very glad that is the case. It's funny, because like one of the conversations I have with Brenda, she talks about like vlogging and stuff like that. And it's like, nope. She, I mean, it's just a five minute delay, so I guess it's not that bad. But still, I'm like, come on, Brenda. Come on, Brenda. I turn right and then I go forward several times in a row. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna turn right twice, so right and right. Left. Forward, right, and then forward. And we made it through the maze according to the notes. So we're actually following step C. So it's like, if there are only two doors, then you continue ahead. If there are three doors and one is that, then not those two. Wow, complicated notes, huh? Anyway. That's the solution to the puzzle. Ha! I knew we were getting close. 
Today just keeps on getting better. That definitely feels like, um, what, 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 what do you call it? The, the moving rooms in Blackmore Manor, it, that puzzle definitely seems similar to that. Same sort of maze energy going on. Chief, I've got something you need to see. Nice job, Nancy. Could no longer contain the darkness inside herself. In a desperate act, she set the night sky ablaze. Perhaps we'll never know what caused Nancy Drew to strike the match that forever changed this town. But one thing is certain, River Heights will be a safer place with Nancy Drew behind bars. With a heavy heart, we must forever say goodbye to a former hero and look bravely. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a broadcast. Brenda Carlton, you're under arrest. No, this isn't happening. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me. You don't want to mess with me. I've got dirt on all of you. I could ruin every single one of you. Yeah, that's a risk we'll have to take. Back to you, Jim. Dear Hannah, Brenda was right about one thing. Her broadcast did make it all the way to the national news. Just not exactly the way she had intended. Not the type to let a little thing like a prison sentence get in the way of her ambition. She's already started working the weather news desk at Heights Regional Correction Center. I'm sure she'll work her way to the lead anchor desk during the next 10 to 20 years. And while Tony had nothing to do with the fire, she did show her true colors. As the details of the case emerged, public support for Tony fell to an all-time low. Tony quietly removed her name from the ballot, but remains behind the counter at Scoop. It'll be a while before any of us go out for ice cream again. To everyone's surprise, the time capsule survived the fire. And sure enough, when it was opened, J.P. Bennington's so-called stolen property was recovered. After decades, Alexi was finally vindicated. Dad is working on formally pardoning Alexi of all wrongdoing. For once, Alexi seems pretty happy. When I asked him if he's interested in being a detective again, he said, never again. But he did say he would be happy to help any time. Deirdre is still Deirdre. She's throwing a post-clues challenge party this weekend. Not surprisingly, Ned's been invited. And not surprisingly, Bess, George, and I have not. Not that we go anyway. The town hall is set to be demolished soon and replaced with a new museum celebrating the history of River Heights. Word is that Alexi may be asked to be head curator. Now that I've been publicly exonerated, the town has really started to show its support again. My neighbors have gotten together to repair our window, and my house is overflowing with notes of support and baked treats. For me, it's just nice to no longer be public enemy number one. As the winners of the Clues Challenge, I got to choose what to place in the time capsule. I'm pretty happy with what I chose to put in there. If you think about it, you'll be able to figure out what it is. Or you could always wait 50 years until it's reopened. Finally, I couldn't have gotten through everything without help from the best friends a girl could have. And, of course, your wonderful gift basket. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Ha uh, ha ha. So what is not an ice cream? Um, Berry Blast? Woohoo! Got that right! Hey! Hey, I got a lot of achievements in this game. Hooray for me! Halfway across the world, beyond Cairo and the ancient pyramids, a lost world rises from the shifting desert sands. I've joined leading archaeologists to help unearth a site that some say may be the true tomb of Egypt's legendary lost queen. But once I arrive, rumors of terrifying curses fly, and stories of the site's deadly past begin to surface. It's up to me to solve an ancient riddle and find Egypt's legendary lost queen before a curse as old as the pharaohs themselves seals my fate forever. Join me in my next adventure, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Yep, 
Tomb of the Lost Queen. It's, uh, it's the next game in the Nancy Drew series. I always think of that like sort of a, a, a big change in the series because, you know, the window gets larger, so they, you know, they have a different size game and just a completely different interface. Always feels, and the writing feels uh, pretty different as well. I mean, obviously it's made by the same people, but I, I always think of like games, you know, it's a 16 through 20, 16 through 25 is like, that's one block of games. And then another block of games is uh, the 26 through uh, 32. We do not get to play with a torch in Alibi and Ashes. I don't think so. Uh, no, they do. You get to turn on a torch when you find the first, like, uh, sarcophagus. But that's it. It's not like we use it the whole time around. And not in the room which was shown in the preview. The room that's shown in the preview um, is like the cat room in uh, that game. Anyway, I'm going to be live streaming that game. So you might want to check it out to get a better sense of what's in that game. Alrighty. So $40. I spent $40, $40 on ice cream. Man. $4 soda though. That's crazy. That is way too much money. You are ripping me off, Tony. Do we have outtakes for this game? Did they stop outtakes with game number 26, I think? Yeah. I think that might be it. Yeah. We'll see if there are any outtakes here. Might be, might not be. Nope, there are no outtakes. Okay, wow, that's Hi, kind of a bummer. I'm Nancy. No outtakes. Yeah, so people say, what did Nancy put inside that um, magic mystery box? Um, some people say it's the How to Be a Detective book, because that's not there in the uh, closing credits. But you might have noticed it's not there throughout the entire game. It's only here on the title screen. Uh, her case book, her scrapbook is there at the very end, though. So... I don't know. Maybe it was this case file. Um, yeah. What did Nancy put inside the time capsule? What does she think people would want to see in like 300 years? Uh, 50 years? I don't think it's ever been officially revealed. Yeah. Very sad there are no more outtakes. Wow. Well, well no wonder it feels like, oh, this is a different era of Nancy Drew games. The no outtake era. Haha. <laughs> 